And as a result, Daniel will never have eyebrows ever again. So again, keep away from the fire. Okay, once more. If anything goes wrong, we stand up. Calmly exit the classroom and line up on the football field as far as we can from the propane tank. And if anyone asks you what happened, you say, Ms. Reyes followed the rules and did everything she could. Please direct all further questions to counsel. You guys are the best. Okay, here it goes. Live in our classroom. Actual fire! I may have oversold this. Okay, who can tell me what's going on here? Justine. The water's boiling. Yes, finally. But we're talking about energy today. So can you tell me what's happening with the energy? Energy is going from the fire into the water. Right. As water gains energy, it boils. Is energy going anywhere else? Light energy. Yes. The light shows us that energy is being transferred. But do you think the burner is creating the energy? No. Energy is never created or destroyed. Conservation of energy. Spoken like a man who did the reading on the bus ride in. So then, where does the energy come from? Uh, well, it's a uh, thing is w w with the conservation of energy. We have to conserve energy or else it disappears. Like how we turn off the lights when we leave a room, or how my mom made my dad get a hybrid even though he thinks it's an iPod on wheels that couldn't outrun an asthmatic tortoise. I don't think that was quite what Dimitri was talking about. But you can see why she might think that. Now, I might not know everything, especially what that brown stain is on the beaker up there. I have my theories. None of them pleasant. But if there's one thing I do know, it's energy. It's a complicated abstract topic, and I bet my last match that Dimitri and Justine don't quite have a handle on it yet. You'd win that bet. It's just so tricky how we talk about conservation of energy as both a law of physics and how humans conserve usable energy to keep our society from turning into Mad Max. Similar phrasing, very different ideas. You've got a tough gig, my friend. Before the kids even get to you, they've heard about conservation of energy, saving energy, energy bars, energy drinks. Oh, one of those sounds pretty good right now. They're just sugar, caffeine, and too much vitamin B. But back to the kids. It's up to us to use their initial ideas to help them toward a more coherent understanding. Yeah, Dimitri did the reading, but he memorized the law without understanding how it applies to the real world. And Justine's going off a mix of environmentalism and her parents' um, lively marriage dynamic. You are so bad. But either way, there are a couple things we can do to help them use all those thoughts and experiences to really understand energy scientifically. First, well, we may want to take a closer look at what your students have been thinking in class. Please don't cut me off until you hear me out. Go on. Okay. Remember how you were talking about what happens to energy when the water boils? Well, kids have trouble conceptualizing that energy. It's not easy. Energy takes all different forms, and it moves through different systems in all sorts of ways. The water's boiling. Yes, finally. But we're talking about energy today. So can you tell me what's happening with the energy? Energy is going from the fire into the water. Right. Justine sees energy as a kind of stuff. Lots of textbooks and diagrams show it that way, but it's just not quite right. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you stepped in before things got out of control, unlike last time. Daniel leaned in. I couldn't stop him. I have tiny arms. Anyways, because energy is an abstract property of a system, not a thing, a good way to represent it and keep track of it is a graph. So when I'm boiling a beaker of water, we can represent each type of energy with a bar. And as one goes down, the others go up, so the total is always the same. Ah, uh, yes. So when the bar for the chemical energy associated with your fuel shrinks, the bar for the thermal energy would grow to offset it. You could even have a total energy bar that never changes. That's a great idea. Though, in reality, any system is going to lose some energy. 
Okay, any system except Dimitri. But still, some energy is always lost. Whether it's heat dissipation or friction loss, that could get confusing. You betcha, especially if we talk about it like that. You just said energy is always conserved, and you also said energy is always lost. Uh, I'd say my brain is fried right now, but frying is another kind of energy transfer. Wrong. It's the best kind of energy transfer. Anyway, you'll be fine. You've just got to always be clear about what system we're looking at. Wait, who drew this? Is my flame really that... Bright? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you were saying. I was! See, energy tends to leave the system, but it doesn't disappear. So when you teach them about conservation of energy, teach them about dissipation at the same time. It'll help them understand both concepts, and it'll match up better with the real world. Thanks, Bunsen. I think I got this. Whoa! Slow down there. Energy is one of the trickiest subjects there is. Don't expect it to be easy. It can blow up in your face, and the next thing you know it... Hey! Sorry. Kind of need to cut you off there. I've got a lot to do for these kids, and I need all the time I can get. I thought we were friends. You know, guys, I think now would be a great time to slow down a sec and talk about what conservation of energy really means. And Justine, it's got nothing to do with your dad's car looking like a toaster. For starters, let's look at the energy in the system using a bar graph. That way we can track the energy moving through the system and see if any energy is escaping into the classroom. The energy from the fire is coming into our classroom? I am standing up. I am calmly exiting the classroom. I will survive if I stay calm. Dimitri, buddy, please sit down. To discover more about how kids learn science and the types of misconceptions they might have, visit us online at scienceeducation.si.edu forward slash good thinking.